What's going on guys? Big to be back with another Game Case Arcades video. My captain's auction purchase is finally here. Let's check it out. So first thing off the bat, if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, you should at Vic underscore VP. If you did, you would have known what I purchased about a week ago because I usually make the videos about a week after. So um, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but there is a company out in, I believe it's California. Yeah, it's California. Uh, by the name of Captain's, Captain's Auctions. He's like the biggest arcade amusement auctioneer. He live streams a lot of stuff. And this past one that I just bought from, which I think was like the August 4th auction, um, was the first time I ever really sat through and watched the entire auction, which was about like, I would say eight hours long. Uh, and it was my first time ever purchasing from them. So uh, I got kind of excited. So they're very big. They usually do like the big arcade games, like the recent stuff, like, you know, stuff you find in Dave and Buster's, old school retro stuff, pinball machines, even amusement rides, vending machines and all that. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with that auction, I mean, I've, I've been to a lot of personal auctions. Um, I'm in a Facebook group. Uh, shout out to Joshua. We just went to a Qzar uh, by me out here in Long Island. Qzar officially closed. I got an advertisement or basically an email um, from an auction company that I follow. And they basically said, hey, Qzar is up for sale. So I went. So I went to that Qzar auction. I'll show you some clips from that right now. GVP Game Case Arcades on location. Just got a hit. Qzar up for auction. Let's go get some game. for this sold for 7k on captains I'm trying to get this today I'm over here out in Long Island Next. Joshua's over there not Joshua accuse our auction Brad this is for you man you won't believe how much this sold for I believe it sold for 3200 insane again if you do follow me on Instagram you would have seen those clips so be sure to follow me on Instagram again at Vic underscore VP that's my main account. I'm always on that account doing the stories and all that. So I've been to so many auctions. That's mentioned. I've held my own auction for my other business. Um, so I am a very big auction junkie. If you don't know what an auction is, basically you're buying people's stuff. Businesses go out of business. You buy it as is, where is, how is. So that's the big thing to keep in mind about an auction. Um, so quick thing about that QZAR one I just flashed. Um, honestly, there's probably about five or six companies I've been to three arcade auctions from that same auctioneer that I just posted. Um, a lot of like actual arcade companies go to these auctions because they do get games, sometimes for dirt cheap, but a quick story about this QZAR one I just went to, it was absolutely insane. The TMNT cabinet, the new Ninja Turtles cabinet, that's one I really went for. Um, some people don't do the research. That sold on auction for like 11 grand. And I met a guy, uh, his name is Mark Henry. He's actually a professional paintballer. Uh, and I met close guy Joshua from the Facebook groups. We actually like, we wanted, we went there to get a couple of games. I went there really because they advertised a Munsters pinball machine. It wasn't there, which is very disappointing. And I met this guy named Mark. Uh, he actually came from Staten Island. He told me it was about an hour and a half drive for him. He came for that pinball machine and we basically both were very disappointed that it wasn't there. Auctioneer said that it was repoed. I'll be honest, I highly doubt Accusar had a pinball machine. Um, sad news on that though is that they don't really disclose the address of the actual auction until like two days before. So, you know, I wasn't, I didn't even know it was Accusar uh, that was going up for auction. But um, kind of disappoint on that pinball machine. But basically, again, there's a couple companies like um, a guy, a Tiki, a T-I-K-I, -I, this is a Tiki bar. There's some guy in Philadelphia that's building an arcade. Um, basically it was like five main dudes at this QZAR auction and me and this guy Mark were like, yo, they don't do their research. Again, TMNT on auction, it sold for like 11 grand and we're like on our phone looking and we're like, you could get like an eBay pickup in like PA for like six grand. So 
Granted, yes, it's used. I haven't looked at brand new ones. TMNT, I think brand new sells for like nine grand. Um, but one of the guys I spoke to that bought the TMNT, he's like, yeah, but they don't have them in the factory. You have to wait. It's a very long wait time with COVID and all that. And I'm like, I don't know, dude, you could definitely like get a better deal. So usually when you do go to auctions, you get amazing deals. Um, real quick, if you notice carefully, I flashed something that was shockingly at QZAR and it's actually in this box. And me and Joshua were actually bidding against each other. This inside of here, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm kind of sporadic on this, but inside of this right here is a Mega Touch. It is a Mega Touch RX. I've never seen one in person. I saw it on Captain's. I'll go back to Captain's thing, but basically I purchased this first. Then I went to QZAR a week after, or I should say maybe five days after. Shockingly, QZAR had the same exact unit up for auction. You won't believe how much it sold on auction. And it was a little bit insane, but it sold for about $1,300. And I was mind blown. So real quick, let's backtrack to captain's auctions. Cause again, that captain's auction was Sunday. Today is what? It, it, it was a week ago, it was last week. Yeah, today's the 15th. So that means captain's auction was on the 8th. So last week, captain's auction, I was watching it because I wanted to see the pinball machines. Um, they did a couple of, uh, you know, I would say ticket redemption games. And then all of a sudden it cut to mega touches. And I was like, oh crap, they're selling mega touches at captain's? All of a sudden, um, they had, you know, more of the newer style. It's basically like a wall mount. Um, and I looked at the, uh, the catalog and I see a mega touch RX and I was like, Oh, I'm looking for one locally in New York. Somebody just saw one in New York on like Facebook for like 1200 bucks. And sure enough, like I had to make an account and I was like, Oh, as I'm making this account, the RX came up and it sold for, I think it was 800. Uh, on auction working unit, but it had the 2012 um, hard drive in it. Uh, so I was kind of disappointed. I was like, damn, I'm, I'm signing up. I didn't make it. I just went through the lots real quick. Actually, the picture on Captain's website of the working RX, there was another RX behind it with the screen off. So I quickly was like, wait, there's two of them. Why didn't he do two of them? I basically went ahead of the lots because it's, it's in like a catalog, it's in a list. And sure enough, there's another RX. So I logged in, made my account, and I'm literally waiting, 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 waiting. It hit like eight hours. I probably, the, the time this one came up, it was probably like eight o'clock at night. Um, so story about this, I'm gonna unbox it because I do like to unbox it because so far Captain's first time I ever bought like from them. And shockingly, the price on it, especially with shipping, I was shocked. This right here is a Mega Touch RX that I purchased. Captain's does say that it doesn't work. It did not work. I paid 250 for it. Um, I did ask Captain's to give me a price quote to ship it. This was shipped via FedEx. Shockingly, from California to New York, it was 80 bucks. I was like, 80 bucks, take my money now, go. That was on, uh, they sent it, I called up to pay for everything. That was on Tuesday. Now it's Sunday. I mean, you're talking five days, right? Yeah, five days. Today's Sunday and this, just arrived at my doorstep. So I am so excited to open this up. Granted, yes, I do know it doesn't work. I'm kind of hoping it might be just a bad computer power supply, but I'm just excited. Let's open it up and let's see what it is. So again, when I was at QZAR, I've never seen an RX in person. And you guys are probably gonna be Googling like pictures of like what an RX is. This is actually a countertop unit. You actually put it on a desk. And the craziest thing with this is from what I'm understanding is that I think this is the last Mega Touch. I believe it was made in 2012, I could be wrong. But this has a 19 inch touch screen display and it's water resistant. So it's meant to be outdoors, which was huge. I was like, whoa, like what? And I just, I got so excited. So I called up captains because usually you have to go through a third party like you know, I'm in New York, so it's my responsibility to get a shipping company. And I asked the lady, I said, listen, it's, it's a tabletop. Like, can you ship it? And they're like, yeah, we could do that. Once she hit me with an $80, I was like, take my money, go. I thought she was gonna tell me like 200 bucks to ship it. But 80 bucks, it is here. It is bubble wrap and I am praying that it's not broken. I mean, again, granted, I am expecting, oh, the Mega Touch logo on top is broken. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's disappointing because it looks like it was intact. And 
I'm not too worried about this though. I'll probably replace that. Damn, it looks like it was intact, it was cracked. Um, as far as like the box outside of it, I did notice like these four dimples, but I'm more focused on making sure at least the screen is not cracked. Again, on Captain's auction, he basically said, listen, we, you know, it doesn't work. That's what they said, it does not work. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> if I can take it out. Shockingly, it's happening. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, they got the keys on it. Okay. We shouldn't have put it on them. I guess it's okay. Okay, okay. Okay, not bad. It looks like it's okay. No screen crack. Like I said, this was here. This looked like it was intact, but they just kind of threw it in a box. I'm not too worried about that, though. I could definitely get a replacement on that. But that's it. That is all that's inside this box. So shout out to the bubble wrapping on it. Again, I don't know what to expect. That's kind of the hard thing. Being out in New York, auctions in California, I took the risk and we're gonna have to play around with it. There is a key in it and the key just broke off. <laughs> At least I'm able to actually turn the key. I've never actually opened one of these up, so I should do a little bit of research, honestly. There's two wires here. What was crazy when I saw it at QZAR, it has this rotating base. That's pretty cool. I have to do my research now to see how it opens. But before we open it, why not give it a whirl and plug it in? Oh! Power works. As far as hearing the dollar bill acceptor. That looks like it's about it. I don't feel... There's a fan back here, it's not, it's not spinning. So we might be getting power, but maybe the PC power supply is dead. I'm hoping it's that easy. <laughs> let me open this up, let me see how to open up this cover, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so this is pretty cool, like I didn't really do much research on it, like I said for 250, and seeing how somebody on Facebook sold it for like 1200, I'm like, this is a no brainer. I honestly know I'm gonna call it though. I'm keeping this. <laughs> I will be keeping this. I'm not telling this one like my other Mega Touch because of the screen size number one. And um, honestly, just it's it's unique. I've, I've never I've never seen a Mega Touch like this at all. Um, okay, it doesn't look that bad. I think it's. I'm not gonna bore you guys with it. I'll bring you in closer to see what it looks like. Um, and I'll tell you my plans. So this is the inside of it again. If we can see the front, this sadly, I mean, I could definitely get a replacement on this. This is not a big deal. I could honestly just take it out. Um, screen looks intact. That's number one, no cracks on it. That was my main concern because I believe with Mega Touches, the screens are the biggest headache. Um, again, this has like a spinning base to it. This is, this is cool. So this is the under the hood and basically they really compact this is like the last basically revision to a mega touch. Um, big thing though is that I believe doing my research, this is running, yep, it's running an SSD drive. Not a hard drive, but an SSD. Can we see? I can't tell what version this is. It just says handle care. Again, I, the advertisement on auctions, they don't know what version it is. So I'm hoping it's 2014. I'm hoping it's the new one so I don't have to get a new hard drive. There is basically security codes here, the security keys. There is a USB here, a link, April 10 it says. Basically, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's this. I'm hoping this is the error that we have is the power supply. This was here, it looks like it was just kind of dangling in the wind. I'm gonna have to see what I could do, but just giving you guys a sneak peek on a Mega Touch. All right guys, so I thought I recorded me like testing the power supply out on the Mega Touch. Um, I had a voltmeter and all that. I actually had a jerry rig 
uh, green wire to ground to even just get you know the computer to boot or the power supply to turn on. Um, after grabbing a voltmeter, I determined that the issue was not power supply related, it was actually a bad motherboard. Um, so this is the newer um, Megatouch Ion motherboard. Um, as you can see, this is the old one. Uh, again, I thought it was a power supply issue because when I gave this power, basically tripping the green wire to ground, this fan was actually like ticking, like slowly. And I was like, oh, it's gotta be a power supply because like there's even like a green light on the motherboard, it was on. You know, I thought maybe it was a power supply issue, but, but after I was looking at a voltmeter, I basically determined that it wasn't the power supply and I basically took a chance and bought a new motherboard. And with that chance, my Megatouch powered on. I'm so excited because this thing works. Um, so let me give you a breakdown real quick. Found the guy on eBay, um, Mega Touch something, Mega MD. Um, basically, it worked. Uh, after swapping out the entire motherboard, which is pretty quick and easy, there's a bunch of USBs connected to it. Basically, just duplicating it. He also even gave me a he also gave me a one gig RAM stick, whereas this one had 512 megabytes. So I mean, yeah, I could probably get more RAM, but honestly, so far with the responsiveness of this it is good to go the only downside is this is 2012 the hard drive running on this is 2012 i messaged the ebay seller to see if he could sell me a 2014 hard drive so i am super satisfied it literally works not to mention like the speed definitely like with you know the ssd i'm flying on this menu and i i'm just so shocked by it because it boots quick uh you know figure about maybe 45 second boot again i would definitely say it's due to the ssd but also like launching games it's pretty fast exiting it's 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 amazing it's definitely like i know the old school mega touches this is like amazing I am so pleased with it. Again, I'm so happy with it. Right now I'm doing some research to get a stand, um, but I will do an update video because I'm gonna have to take this plastic out, which I think I'm gonna try with a heat gun, uh, and I'm gonna find a stand for it. Um, right now it's on a table, and it's just too low sun glare. Playing photo hunt, I, I can't really see too good with it, so I do, I do need it elevated. But Captain's Auction Mega Touch is back alive. Let's take a look real quick, break down the price, right? Pay 250, final hammer down price, 80 bucks to ship. Um, I think I said in the beginning of the video how much I totally spent, because there is like, no, there was no tax. But there is a, um, there is a premium, buyer's premium of 18%, I believe. Um, so figure, I mean, from after I paid the, the shipping, figure 375, let's call it 375 from what I did with captains. And then as of right now, the motherboard costed me 130 bucks. Um, so 375, the 130. And apparently, again, I'm talking to the guy on eBay. I believe he wants another 130 for a new hard drive and the security key. So 130, 130, and let's just call it 375. I right now I'm at 635, $635. My Mega Touch does work. I could probably resell it for about 1200. Somebody I met in Long Island by the name of Mark, um, he bought one that I was looking at on Facebook Marketplace. He bought it for a thousand. I offered the guy 400, but uh, you know that was because I wanted to resell it and play with it. But not bad, honestly, not bad for a captain's auction. Again, if I was gonna resell it, this wood, I would probably sell it for at least 1200. Um, you know, make a 600 dollar profit, uh, but. Again, for me right now, I'm keeping this. All in all, right now, I was playing with it last night with the wife, you know, playing some photo home, we were playing some trivia and all that. It is great. I do love this whole new, like, look. Again, you could definitely tell it was updated, SSD, new style of games. I just like the whole presentation of, like, a track mode on this. I could even add, like, my own logos, which I will do. But just, like, the responsiveness is just mind-blowing on how quick it is i mean that's that's it's amazing awesome cabinet awesome desktop I, again I, I was mind blown when i saw this uh especially on captains and uh if i wanted to turn a profit i definitely would be able to but i might have to hold on to this i will hold on to it i can't say might 
I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm hoping to find a kind of stand. I might have to make some Ikea hack stand. Definitely need it about maybe three, three and a half feet off the floor just to get a good viewing angle on it. But I, I, I'm, I'm mind blown by it. It's got a nice swivel to it. It's got like 360 swivel. It's even meant to be outdoors, which is water resistant. I'm like mind blown by it. I, I love everything about it. I'm just so excited that it worked. Um, there's so many things to mega touch. I mean, if you look at the inside of it, like I showed you before, there's like drivers and touchscreen stuff and there's like other motherboards. And I was just so happy I took a gamble on this motherboard. And again, I'll, I'll, you could even see, like you could see where the Intel chip is. You could just see all like the gunk, especially by the fan. Kind of see that like dust cloud or whatever, but looking at it like closer definitely something must have touched um you could even see like the rust on like the the hook where the um that heat sink is i would assume honestly again it is water resistant it did have advertisements of like a bar so i don't know maybe this was outdoors maybe it's just a bad motherboard in general but i'm just so happy my mega touch works so there you guys have it vvp game case arcades Mega Touch RX, you will see a, another video on this because I'm definitely getting the 2014 hard drive upgrade on this. And I would have the most up-to-date Mega Touch as of 2014. <laughs>